Guys, we have a very special cold start video for you. It's freezing outside. It's the coldest day here in Denver and what did you say, 32 years or something? Yeah, that's what uh, Denver's news channel is saying. Coldest day in 32 years. And we have a 2022 Ram 2500 Cummins. So how about this, Alex? How about we do a cold start? Let's do it. And I also have a Cummins and getting to work this morning, my truck was uh, not super happy. That's so. your truck? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is our truck. It's been sitting overnight. It got down to about negative uh, 14, I believe, mm -hmm. um, in Boulder. And it hasn't been plugged in, so no block heater, no grid heater. Nothing. We're just going to do uh, brush it off with snow. You can see we haven't touched it at all, and uh, we'll brush it off and start her up. Okay, uh, but Alex, there's one more thing. You put a thermometer on this, right? I did. We stuck this out here a couple minutes ago and it's still reading minus three outside. So even though it looks nice and sunny, it is not warm. Okay, so let, let's brush this off. Yep. This is a 2022 Ram 2500 with a 6.7 and it's a, a standard output diesel, right? Mm -hmm. 2500 with the 68 RFE. Should have got a brush. Here, do you want a brush? Wow, this, this is more snow than I had at my house. So, how about this? We're gonna pop the hood, right? Yeah, go for it. I'll get it open. So here's the thing about modern trucks. Is it holding up? It or, wasn't for a sec. Or the struts are the weak. Struts are weak, it's so cold. Oh gosh. So these modern trucks, I mean, they're designed for this. They're tested in the north and this engine has a grid heater, right? So in theory, it should react uh, like with a warm up cycle. Whoa, <laughs> the hood is falling. All right, so do you want to stay out here? Yeah, I have a mic. I'll get it close to the engine bay. And we'll see what it sounds like. All right, and you guys jump in with me. Okay, okay. Wow, everything is cold. Look, I can barely move this. The plastics are cold. So I'm gonna start, you wanna close the door? Okay, I'm gonna start this up and watch the screen in the middle too. Whoa, this is a pretty long warm-up cycle. So I requested the start. And it's taken a while. That's okay. The truck is trying to do everything it can. So the glow plug light is on. Press, brake, push button to start. Oh! So three of our tires, or basically all of our tires, are low on pressure because it's so cold, even though we had them aired up before. So I can do a couple of things. I can do boost control. It sounded like a door buzzer from an old 90s truck under there. It has like this kind of ringing noise and then you hear like, you hear the turbo whining and the exhaust brake kind of 
doing its thing, okay. making a whining noise. So I selected high idle. Yeah. So um, a lot of modern trucks, diesel specifically, also heavy duties, have a high idle option, you know, to run accessories sometimes, maybe winches or plows, uh, that type of stuff. Uh, but it also helps to warm up. Yeah, definitely. Get some heat in the engine, some heat in the cabin, and make it a little more comfortable to drive when you okay, get in. Okay, let's look at the exhaust pipe. Okay, not a lot of just kind of... Uh, it's not hazing, right? It's just the temperature difference. Not a lot of it coming out. You hear that like whistle or whine from up here though? That's the exhaust brake. Yeah, you could hear it. There's a little yeah. high pitched. Do you want to put a... Did you hear it already? Yeah. Okay, so we have still stock tires. These are uh, Firestone Transforce All Terrains, and they have about 13 to 14,000 miles on them. So they're kind of getting worn down, but we're going to try to pull out <laughs> here. Maybe go for a ride. Whew. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Let's do it. Sorry I had you outside, dude. All oh, right, let's good. Jump let's, let's jump in and warm up. Okay, let me select four wheel drive. So it now went to normal idle. I hit the brake. Uh, four high. Even the cluster is iced over. Yeah, everything is. And you know what? Also, this. Look how slow this is. <laughs> so the, the center console is slow. Everything is slow. Oh, I hate this. I hate the proximity sensors. Hey, she's just going. We have the LU cab on. Which probably helps a good bit having weight over that. Yeah, a little bit axle. more weight. <laughs> Trans right. temp, 13 degrees. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't be driving. <laughs> Transmission temp 14 degrees Fahrenheit, coolant temp 93, so the engine is already kind of building up some heat. Um, oil temp 51, oil pressure 49, which is normal. Um, so the oil is circulating, that's really nice. And now, battery is doing okay. You know, we may have to change the fuel filter yeah, soon. Yeah, we're getting close. Oil is great, particulate filter is okay, boost. Yeah, so this is probably not great for the transmission. <laughs> 14 degrees. That's really cold. It's below freezing. Yeah. So let's just gently move. I'm curious how quick that transmission heats up when you start actually yeah, let's... driving. Dust your mirror off here. Windows are slow too. Everything is slow. But you know... Oh uh, my god, look at that window! Oh, it's not even moving. Wow. That's crazy. So dude, I used to have a Duramax 20, 2002, and that truck struggled, a truck uh, just struggled in the cold. Yep. You know, it would, um, I would have a block heater sometimes plugged in, even though, even that rarely helped and and case is having some issues with his old comments yeah it's 10 30 right now case was supposed to be here at 8 30 <laughs> and he only lives about 20 minutes from here and he's still not here so yeah he's got a 94 cummins 12 valve um and it was just gelling up this morning he could not he it would idle just fine but anytime he started to get moving it would die on him so modern trucks modern trucks work better yeah but uh, you know, old diesels, you know, it's at certain temperature when it gets super, super low, the diesel fuel will start to gel itself, mm -hmm. even, you know, in your lines and your tank maybe, which is why like some of the Arctic trucks, right? They have like fuel heaters, right? Uh, they have fuel tank heaters and all that stuff too. Yeah. I mean, a block heater would be nice to keep, you know, your injectors warm and everything, yeah. but, um, it's not going to do much for fuel that's actually in your tank. Okay, so the coldest day in the last, what, 32 years or more? We're already up about 10 degrees on our transmission temp after just one little loop. Yeah, so it's just getting the juices flowing. 27 already. Yeah, so you don't want to like put the truck to work right away. No. Right, you don't want to pull 20,000 pounds. 
I was taking it real easy on the way to work this morning on the throttle because I knew there wasn't much temp in it. So yeah, but it really doesn't take long before it starts building temperature. Well, you know what? Pretty successful cold start, I would say. Yeah, I'd um, say so. The preheat cycle was around, not the maximum 45 seconds, but it was like around 35 to 40 seconds. Okay. That was the preheat cycle according to the truck. It's about yeah. the longest I've seen it. Yeah, because I usually see like five second mm -hmm. preheat cycles. Um, but it's not too bad. And the tires are performing okay. I mean, I wouldn't want to be on ice, but you know, this fresh fallen snow is okay. So the, the transmission is already 33. 33 degrees. What about our other temps? Can you go over, look at like yeah. a... So coolant 118 is already pretty warm. Yep. Uh, oil temp 89, nice. So, so yeah, it's slowly but surely it's starting to warm up. And definitely helps, you know, getting heat in it by driving. You don't build up nearly as much heat while you're just idling it, so. So in here it's eight degrees right now. <laughs> and minus four outside still. Minus four according to the truck. So there you have it guys. There's a, just a holiday video for you, cold start. <laughs> Stay warm out there. I know it's going to get cold, like even in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, like 20 some degrees. Something. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, and also, uh, if you have like water hoses in your house uh, that are exposed, uh, please drain those. <laughs> they should have done that already. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Check out alttfl.com. See you in the next one.